Going. Sorry guys, I'm like finishing up like a sandwich that I brought from work. It is quite delicious and so if you hear me munching, that's the sounds. <laughs> to get this started though soon. I know it's sorry if I look really weird because <clears throat> I showered so that's why my hair looks super funky. Alright let's get we're gonna play a little bit more of Dream Daddy. So we're gonna get that started up and running right now making sure everything's going according to plan. Hey, yeah. OK, 
Okay, cool. Daddy. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Super excited to get back into this. Load from this one, right? I'm assuming so. Welcome. You've got that. Oh, that's right. I had to pick. <laughs> yes, that's right. So I left it off in this lovely little cliffhanger. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, first guy I met was Matt. I was kind of impressed. But then, Hyoko comes around, and I'm kind of slightly smitten by him. Absolutely no on Brian, and no on Damien. Joseph's like, eh, eh. Craig is a eh. And Robert, I'm just kind of curious, because, I mean, like, that bad boy thing is really absolutely, like, hunkadory. But at the same time, hmm. Mmm, it's like the, the mystery aura of sorts. That's kind of what's intriguing me about this whole entire thing as I eat more of my delicious panini. You've been fooled, this is a mukbang. <laughs> Alright. Um, I really want to say Matt. I think we go with Hugo. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. Middle school teacher, high school teacher, and writer of scholarly scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know and I'm sorry. On Friday night, you're most likely to brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. Whoa! <laughs> what kind of miniatures? Like D&D &D miniatures? I can get down for that. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? A remembrance of things passed by Markle Prowse. Marcel Prowse. What are your turn-ons? Muscles. I don't have that. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? A movie star. Wow. Okay. Okay. Favorite movie genre? Documentaries on art history? Ideal date? Each of us read a different book on opposite sides of the couch in comfortable silence. What do you never leave home without? My glasses. Actually, I forget them at home a lot. I spend a lot of time thinking about I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. Hmm. Alright, let me go back to Matt. <clears throat> Avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. Hey! You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the coffee spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about the 80s no wave music. Hey! Friday night you're most likely to perfect my cold brew setup. One drip at a time, baby. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. What are your turn-ons? Multi-instrumentalism. What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista. We are in love. Okay. <laughs> Favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. Okay. So anime? Is this anime? Is this Weibo shit? Okay. Hold on. I'm sorry to like Matt that I did with Hugo. Okay, hold on. What did you never leave home without? My headphones, both in ear and over ear, just in case. Yeah, I respect that. Spent a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas and song titles come from and where did it go? Do we all just agree that it's a bad idea? <laughs> all right. I feel like Matt's more relatable to me than anybody else because I too am an avid coffee drinker i enjoy my music and he's like super chill and shit oh ideal day animal shelter seriously consider adopting a cat and that's where it all went i am not a cat person i'm sorry i'm not really sorry but more cats for the rest of the world i'll take all the dogs but seriously so i'm going for matt absolutely going for matt hey, hey. 
Ooh. I feel like it's absolutely ridiculous if I didn't pick Matt. Just saying. Oh, oh. What do I do? Hey, okay. navigate into Matt's dad book page and type out a message. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I'm not even touching it. Hey, man. Great. <laughs> great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang out soon. You free later? Okay, Matt or two later here. Ding and see Matt's response. Hey, dude. I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come out? <gasps> oh! Uh, yes, let's go. <laughs> What's a sound garden? What? Actually, I don't know what that is. It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listen to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Oh man, I haven't been in a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? I feel like it sounds a lot more chiller than it should be. Well, I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Oh? Pup is playing tonight. Full little indie pop funk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I don't know if you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. Hell yeah! Let's do it, let's do it. No, there was a message! I log off of Dad and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I immensely backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning into the cult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, the other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrush vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so, I haven't been in a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the days pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relatively to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? <clears throat> I look over to see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Her eyes are like, <gasps> why did you look like you're crying, my sweet pea? What's wrong? I'm fine. No, you're not. Because I realize that society collectively refuses to take pop music seriously, despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that genre. Who hurt you, baby girl? And who the fuck do I have to beat up? I think it's just yet another thing that we write off because we can't take young women into the interest. No. You have to tell me what's actually wrong. <laughs> I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. No, you're not. Baby girl, why are you lying? No, 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 no. I want an option. Let's me go back to my daughter and be like, baby girl, why is you crying? Who the fuck do I beat up? And do you want some chocolate chip pancakes with some whipped cream on top? Because girl, I got you fam. That's how you treat your loved ones. You spoil them and show them love and affection. Just saying. Amanda, how do I be cool? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me put on a pot of coffee first. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Ye of little faith, my own child. Oh no. Okay. Took me once when I was 12, remember? But I see a screaming preteens. Oh my god. Okay, so. True story. I actually went to a concert a few years ago to see this artist named Milani Martinez. She started becoming really big because of the song called Cry Baby and she got really, really popular. Uh, she was based off of like, I think it was The Voice or whatever. She was a contestant. I liked her music. It was really enjoyable. And because she was an up and coming artist, her concert was only like 15 bucks and it's like a small little venue over in um, San Francisco. Bought a ticket, went by myself, a sea of preteens. Like, oh my god. And you see all the fucking parents chilling in the back by the bar, getting a drink, which I also did. I was like in the middle of like the adult zone and preteen area. Because I was still in my young 20s. So many fucking children. So. Mmm. This is like also like during like a week night, <laughs> not a week and week night. Okay, I completely didn't even listen to you. I'm so sorry. I mentioned that they're a punk band. Mm. Yes, 
like DIY gutter punk trash straight edge come on dad give me something to work with here are they post punk proto punk C punk Jeremy punk what the fuck is Jeremy punk I made that one up to see if I could get away with it oh no baby girl baby girl or uh, not positive hardcore are they uh well he said that they're Canadian punk oh yeah you'll be fine does Canadian punk scene <laughs> what? I don't see fresh as a polite list of score and terrorists of the punk scene. What does Canadian punk have to mean or do anything? Punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. By the way, I'm also sick. <coughs> so if I mess up on words and stuff, or you can't hear me talk properly, I'm really stuffed up. Okay? What I'm trying to say is just just enjoy the music. Okay, okay. That's it? I mean, yeah, it's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. No, I don't I don't want to do that. I've done the mosh pit once and that's all I needed and I, I was cool. This is a strange dude in a set your goals to the office to buy you merch, don't accept it, and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. Is that why you're upset? Is that why you're upset? Never mind. No, not never mind. My child, is that the reason why you were crying? Someone just fucked you up like that? Ugh. I'm pretty sure I'm the one paying for it because I'm probably giving her allowance. Goddamn. Show up to the coffee spoon at eight and what I hope is concert appropriate attire. I see Matt on the front, locking the door to the shop. Ooh, you fine. He's a fine motherfucker. Hmm. Hey, made it. Ready for tonight? Oh, it's been a while. Yes, of course. I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was no. It's been a while. Let's let's be honest. I gotta admit it. I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. <clears throat> Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream, scream cries? Yes, that's exactly what happened, my sweet sweet baby. Yeah, I got two lined up next month. Still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Oh. Stay strong, yes! Stay strong! But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome! Just hang with me, Lobby, and you'll be good. The scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast! Quick question What is scene? Les, please laugh at me! I'm adorable! I'm fucking adorable. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, it's just weird because scene can describe as music scene as. It pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit that they're into. Aha! Uh -huh. Matt looks off into the middle distance, says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. <laughs> it's confusing, it is. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. Ah, oh, what a sweet pie! Oh after waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage and one end at the bar at the other. Most people here are closer to a man his age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. How am I so I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. When were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C punk actually a genre? These are the true questions. That I will probably ask one day when I get fucking older. Or whenever I become a parent. Matt, you made it! Oh! A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. The kid runs off and Matt tires to me, sh shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Oh, okay. Me too. <laughs> I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. And yet we're at a concert. <laughs> Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? <clears throat> That's my favorite thing to do. Hey! <laughs> a couple of other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell, hey, as well. Hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple of people. He seems really in his element here. Matt turns his attention back to me. Oh, that's sweet. I am so afraid of all these people. Oh! Uh, let's go grab a beer. <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I may or may not have done that myself a couple of times. <laughs> Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the old concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Who the 
fuck are you, my dude? Like, you get all these people just kind of, like, shalanting at you. Hmm. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. But it sounds like things where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Aww. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. Oh. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. What? Wait. And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Oh, okay. He's talking about this talking. That sounded peculiar. Yeah. God damn it. Where did I put my tongue? <laughs> See? Well, <laughs> I've known you for more than five minutes and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. Right. <laughs> this scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they're listening to it. <laughs> okay, go to merch. Go to merch. Um, I like your hair color. Not sure how I feel about like a really grossed out t-shirt though. I like the hair color. Alright. Matt and I walk over to the small booth in the corner of the room where crusty looking crusty looking see I <laughs> teenager guards a section of the shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and encounterments a discerning constant of considerable taste might want you. <laughs> yes, me. Me? Me? Oh, I'm tr oh, no. Yes, you, you look like a fellow who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pop Canada's premier punk rock outfit? Um... Please stop yelling at me. I just, I'm honestly, I'd probably be like, uh, I said some hesitation in your voice, buddy. Let me assure you on my reputation as salesman of the highest caliber that this record cannot and will not let you down. God damn. Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. Pablo, ka, ka, hakuna yomatatas. <laughs> your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Day by day, my man. They do that thing where the high five, but also turn into a hug. Ah, your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that connect. Oh, uh, uh, what? <coughs> I have to deal with you every single day. Fair enough. Who's your bud? Hey. That's Lobby. That's me. <laughs> Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Papa leans close to Matt. Is Lobby cool? Hey, Matt eyes me. I eye him back. He cracks a smile. <gasps> yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh, thanks for the bro hug, dude. My dude. My dude. I'm not sure what to say, but given the courtesy to pats in the back, as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sorry. I just want to make sure. Cause, so, I'm also looking at my phone for the chat. Because how I have this windowed, uh, the window kind of covers like half of the chat so I can't really see if someone messages. So I kind of use my phone too just to make sure that I'm not missing anything else. Um, Alright, Paulo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of bass. Bass, bass. Okay. I always get those two confused. Bass and bass. Bass and bass. I know one of them is a fish and I want to know what is an instrument of sorts. But I can't tell the difference, so I just say how it is. Bass, I think, is the music, and bass is the fish. That's what I'm assuming. Mm. Which house bad? Which house bad? You know I'm out of the game. You used to play? You know, vacant veal would have slayed. Okay. I'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. Uh -huh. We got the sickle logo. Okay, so they talk. I'm going to the merch. I like merch. I'm more of a pigeon fanatic, to be honest. I'm really picky when it comes to t-shirts. Woohoo! Call it a trip. Call it a trip. Call it a trip. I swear to God. If Ninja Sex Party or Star Bomb fucking comes out of there. 
Hey, what's up, brother? We're trying to judge the speak easy choir. Oh, no. My name is Daniel. Daniel? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Daniel, all of it done? AKA Dan, Danny, my boy, from a certain grump. Oh no, these guys. What? Cacophonous. What the fuck am I listening to? The only reason I'm like trying to listen to very, very closely is to see if I actually recognize anybody. <laughs> what is this? He does, he just hands me earplugs. <laughs> Put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Jesus, is that just just break his bone half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the song, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. Turn to mad. I try to start a conversation. So you got a lot of conscious out here, huh? What? I'm asking again. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Oh my god. I'm gonna just drop it. He can't hear me. Nope. I'm not going to try to do this again because it's just going to go over and over and over. Oh, my God. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends. But only after the drummer sprays his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage, crying, uh-huh. I'm sure it was. Boop. Take out the earplugs. Man, that was... Something. I promise Puff is much better. Okay. <clears throat> I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. Oh yeah, he spreads an ankle at every show. They were being real about that. What the fuck? Why would you purposely spray your ankle? Why? That sounds painful. I don't think I've ever sprayed my ankle, but that sounds fucking painful. Alright, okay, Matt and I work our way out to the crowd and back in the bar. More and more people file to the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's kind of getting crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot. There are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to fight Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? And what if... <sighs> Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt! Hey. Almost lost you, buddy. Whew! Got really nervous there for a second. <laughs> you and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. <laughs> Yes, queen! I feel myself flashing a little bit! Fuck yeah! Finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, eh? Hey. Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So, you go to concerts a lot? Oh yeah, one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. I agree. From all the times I've gone to concerts, I feel the same way. I really do. I wish I could go to more concerts. Speaking of concerts, I think sometime this week, Panic at the Disco is going to be playing in the Bay Area, and I'm kind of sad that I can't go. But I went to their concert last year, so it's fine. It's the same concert tour, but I, it'd be nice to see Brandon shirtless, singing his heart out. Damn, he's a sexy motherfucker. Just saying. <coughs> I suddenly have the urge to be cursed this tidy dad bladder. I've never heard it put out a way that's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Yes. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I'm again. I'm again. I got to go. Move, bitch, and get out my way. Get out my way, bitch. Gotta go pee. All right. 
Right. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. Yes, queen. I am proud of her. I barely know this girl for like maybe about two hours in gameplay, and then I fucking love her. She is the queen bee to my eye. Make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, my business man starts. Crap. As I'm taking a crap. The people that were initially milling around the video all crowded up against the stage as Pup plays a first song. How am I ever going to fan that now? I my nose is so stuffy. Mm. Oh shit. Oh shit. Everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta get there without being in trouble with all these rowdy youths. Avoid the youths! Oh, how do I, how do I, oh shit. Oh, okay. This is the part hey! Excuse you. you. I need that heart. Excuse me, I need. Okay, this is really interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Stop hurting me! Fucking delinquents, give me that heart. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Can you, like, not hurt me? I don't even know if there's a health meter. I think I eventually make it, but... Oh my god, this song. This song. Oh my god. That's right. The band's called Pup and their song called DDP. This is hilarious. The song is great and the video is tight. Oh no, I need that, that heart! You pieces of shit! Like footage of NES and SNES games from the lyrics added into the Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! It's kind of hard to explain right now, but you'll get it, I promise. You should really check it out. It's really good. Okay, whoever is singing this is fucking hilarious. So we added oh. Oh, come on. I wasn't trying to go back. Oh, it's slowing down. Oh, it's slowing down. This is a very long hallway. I survived. I don't even know if there was a health bar or anything, but I don't... Hey! Hey! Pop, pop. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm okay with this tune. I didn't want to. I did purposely uh, put the uh, <coughs> censor version, so this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I just want to listen to this now. <coughs> I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he is nowhere to be found. Shoot! Well, I guess I should just keep look. Uh. I bumped into. Wait. I bumped into from behind and I find myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in circles and oh, I'm in the pit! Oh no, I'm in the pit! I'm in the pit! I'm in the mosh pit! Oh shit, oh shit! I don't know where a youth's shoulders hits me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving in the circle now. Oh shit. Frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. Now the youth slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled under the booths. Of counter culture. Someone grabs me. Someone familiar. I look up and I see Matt. He pulls me back up to my feet. <laughs> You're wild, dude. Oh my god, there's this eggplants that just floated all over behind him. <laughs> Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, bashing into use left and right as Pup plays a killer solo. I didn't know you messed with the pit. Uh, me neither. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity, but I'm having fun. <laughs> the song ends, and the pit finally dissipates. Everybody cheers on Pup. Alright, maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. Uh, Alright, man, let's retreat. We'll show these kids how, how it's done another time. 
We'll work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pup is uh, put, put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Oh. oh. Help me shout outside. I gotta say bye to a couple people. Okay, that's cool. Hey, I survived the mosh pit with my date. Ah, well, it's not a date. We're hanging out. Mm. Oh, he's so fine. Ah, I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey, man, thanks for waiting. I got your present. <gasps> you got me a present? Has me the t shirt I was looking at it earlier. Oh, thank you. Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. And I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. <gasps> the youths will finally accept me. Amanda will love this. I'm never taking this off. Oh, I don't know how I'd respond to that. Mm. My inner wit would probably say the youths will finally accept me or I'm never taking this off. I think, but this sounds thirsty as fuck and I don't want to sound desperate. <laughs> So the youth will finally accept me. Finally, I'll be able to infiltrate the ranks and defeat them not only in the field of battle as we have done today, but on a grander scale. Hey, we'll see you in the world pit, youths. Hey, Matt. Hey, hey it's Pup. Oh, it's the band. Oh, that's cool. You look like Aaron. You look like fucking Ross. The first thing I think of is Vernon. You are, I don't, mm, eh. I want to say like the influence of like John from, you know, John Tron, like what, the actual original Grub before he had to leave. Uh. But I could be going wrong and crazy here. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. As I scoot this closer, because I want to lean back, but I want you guys to see me. Right, thanks. Well, see you around. Alright. Wait, you know Pup? Oh yeah, met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Come on, let's grab some dinner food. I suddenly realize how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot of you. Yes, they do. Matt and I walk to a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in the corner. Hey. So there I am in the pit, trying to explain the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering toward me and there's nowhere to go. In the end for me, right? Then, it's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere, I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms and just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You just seen the look on his face. That sounds pretty fucking epic. Bought him a beer after where we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. Yeah, man, just goes to show you the punk's not dead. He just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. <laughs> so how'd you get to all these amazing concerts? Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the States. Yo, that's hell cool. Yeah, I mean, we were poor. Had to scrape a lot to just to get to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of these people at the show. Music like this building's an amazing community. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energies and good vibes. And I get that feeling. Plenty of friendly people around, especially that Pablo kid. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. Oh, you're so sweet! Ah! Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. Oh, that's so true. How's Carmen Sita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh. <laughs> It'll be loud and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she's on, on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Yes, queen. I'm... Trying to be supportive of Garmin Sita's rebellious face, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Hey. Yes! <laughs> Let's see. No, not fashion. 
consumerism possibly big budget remakes of foreign films mm, first of all I need to look up because I forgot what consumerism was so let me google that shit real quick because for some reason I'm having a fucking blank consumerism definition yes please the protection or promotion of the interests of the consumers. Okay, but like, can you explain a little? The preoccupation of society with the acquisition of consumer goods. The growth of community. Uh, okay, that doesn't really help. Protection and promotion of the interests of consumers. The preoccupation of society with the acquisition of consumer goods. All right. Consumerism or big budget remakes of foreign films. You go to fashion. Rebel with fashion. I mean, that's what Lady Gaga and has been doing, as well as Katy Perry and Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and et cetera, et cetera, other people in the world that rebels with fashion. I'm, I'm not good with designer, with, with, with famous people. I just think whatever pops into my head, if I can remember uh, any, mini, mighty, mo, kesha, tiger, by the toe, da 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 da, if we go, any, mini, mighty, mo, fashion it is. Put always fly to the face of fashion industry. That's a good anti establishment. That gestures to my outfit. <laughs> I think you got that one covered, dude. Ah! Ah! I'm hurt. I thought I was among friends. <laughs> Can dig into our big plates of greasy diner food. Breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. I just finished my sandwich and fries. I've got nothing to eat and I'm still hungry, bitch. <laughs> I'm broke. <coughs> Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. Yeah. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Oh. You get nervous because it's so cool. Me too. I never really considered myself an extrovert. I never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. Hey, yeah. <laughs> You're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that? Oh, thank I smile. Yes, I am smiling. <laughs> we spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night diners or dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our re res respective houses. <sighs> Today was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably gonna feel it on my knees in the morning. <laughs> you and me both. I uh don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. Oh, I'm glad. All right, I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Hey, Matt called me cool. I'm cool. <laughs> I walked to the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Hey, pops, how was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> you don't say. Amanda Panda. Oh my God, that's such a cute name. Amanda Panda. Matt thinks I'm cool. Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> blind leading to the blind, eh? Wow, I just got dunked by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me which one of us just tore it up in the pit at a punk show and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition. <clears throat> First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. <laughs> Second of all, you moshed in the pit? Who even are you? I am the great and all-powerful Waffles. I'm your extremely cool dad. Fuck yeah, I am. All right, I'm hitting the hay pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. Bye, kiddo. Never gonna give you up. <laughs> oh, 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 there's points? What? Dad points, daddy points. Is that like overall points? And this is points with him? Okay, grunge, yes. Family vacation, baby boomer. Bad puns, baking music. All right. Q 
king of carrot flowers. The fuck is king of carrot flowers? But I got an achievement. While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cool de sac. Cool de sac. Ah, cool de sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple letters and a large yellow envelope through the slot. Takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. And I'm just like watching this happen instead of just like opening the door and like helping. Hey, my coupons. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock at Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda! She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. Come and visit me now. Can you come back later? Okay, I just thought you want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Yes, Queen, come out here. Horn Institute for the Arts? Hell yeah. I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give her the envelope when she tears open with her teeth. Ooh, it's probably bad for your teeth. Yeah. She doesn't hear me and spits out a piece of envelope. She pulls out a letter of her and unfolds it. And? Is this Spence is killing me? This is her dream school! Hmm. I can't believe this. <gasps> My baby girl! Yes, you get into the school that you wanted to go to! Yes! Yes! Oh! Amanda tosses the letter aside, gives you a big old hat. Hell yeah, congrats, my sweet pea. Oh my god, I am proud of you. And you are fucking amazing. Yes, queen. Oh my god, I can't believe I got in. Well, duh, you got in. You're a great student, you nailed the interview, and for your photography is incredible. Aww. Wait, dad. <clears throat> I know this one's really expensive, and it's so far away. Ah, I think for a moment. HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know she has her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we'll make it work. Yeah, of course. Baby girl, you deserve all the best. All right? We're celebrating? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're totally celebrating. Wherever. Oh no. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. You could have chosen anywhere in the Maple Bay. Anywhere. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a Rito with a view. Aww. Can't say that I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. Yes. All the dorms are right near, a bunch of cafes, and all these galleries nearby, and there's a discount if you bring your student ID, and... Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited! Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? And we get all professional photo editing software for free? <sighs> it's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't be do it be <laughs> I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. <laughs> I wonder how my room is gonna be. Take a survey online and the match with someone with a similar major and interest. I bet they're gonna I think I bet we're gonna be best went Craig and I were a good roommate can be a lifelong friend but don't even get me started on bad roommates <laughs> I'm just kidding we didn't have bad roommates our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night we spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark <coughs> Carl ruled I let you have animals in those arms if you get a note saying you need one I bet I could forge one. I think I get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. Would the snake eat the rabbit, though? Oh, oh boy. I think I'll leave it all up to you. She's so excited. And I don't want to disappoint her. But I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had a talk with Mr. Vega. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? Wait, what? No. I don't want to put a damper on good news, but I need you to not get out of the park with these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship on me. I know you can do it. Yeah. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. Yes, baby girl! Yeah. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? It's going to be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started in the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. Oh, I am gonna cry. Oh, 
I'm just very proud of you. You're all grown up now and you're such a good person and I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're gonna make me cry too. <gasps> it's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. Aww. A hug and a kiss. I love you. Love you too, Pops. Ah! Ah, this is so emotional. You got dads. <sighs> I do. Hey, hey, who's this? Hi, this is Steven from Danazon. I'm out front with your delivery. Oh, okay, yes, I'll be right down. Wait, no, sorry, I need a pump fast for us. I can't find my pants, but I'm wrapped from waist down with the vet. Are you cool with that? I can come back tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, wait, I'll be right down. I found some sensible. Put on the pants. I got a package. Wonder what it is. Oh, I bet it's that package of socks I ordered. I opened up the box and started pulling the packing peanuts out. Man, these socks reek. Okay, that's definitely not socks. It's butterflies? Oh boy. I almost don't even want to know what Amanda was planning on doing with these. Hey Amanda, your box of dead butterflies is here? What's up? Are you sacrificing them? You ordered butterflies? You gonna order dead butterflies online? Wait, so these aren't yours? Uh, no, but I'm definitely ordering some right now. Uh, okay, love ya. Oh, this is addressed to Damien's- Oh, no! Oh! Oh, no! Give it to Amanda! Oh, this is kinda weird, it is! <clears throat> you go! <clears throat> There's no name in the box. Why don't you cast the order and just do- Oh, that's not what I meant! No! No, 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 that's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! No, 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 That's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! Go back! Go back! That's not what I meant! It's a Dramius house. Okay. I didn't want Amanda to keep them. Hold on. Let But I don't want to see Damien. Because I know if I kept the butterflies, something bad is going to happen. So I might as well bring him back. Okay. <coughs> because I am coughing. <coughs> I need some toasty beverages in my system. Right? So. Bring in the box. I should take it over to him. That's what I'm going to do. Oh my god. This is creepy as fuck. This is what we going to do. We will take a break. And I'm gonna play on some music. I'll be right back. Give me about five minutes or so. Go take a pee break or whatever. Um, but I'll be right back. Play on some tunes. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back.
Hello, hello, hello. I am returned with a hot toasty beverage and uh, some chips. I found some cheddar Pringles in the, the cupboard. No, no. So because I'm sick, I made myself a hot chai. Uh, there's this recipe that I found online on Tumblr years ago that I refound it a couple of weeks ago um, how to make this really amazing chai syrup and so all you have to do is add milk or water um, and it can be either a hot or cold beverage I swear to god it tastes like fucking Christmas and I mean that in a good way because I really don't like Christmas <sighs> oh that's so soothing to the soul I swear to god Hellos. <sighs> oh my god, this is so good. Okay. Mm. Okay, music. Hold on. We can calm down for a hot second because we have a game to play. Oh, this is the last person I want to be at. Oh, Mr. Universe! To what do I owe the pleasure? Whoa, how did you know I was about to knock? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. Um. Anyways. <laughs> I think this got delivered to my house by mistake. Uh, that's what I was trying to avoid. Please don't show eggplant dicks on my face. What a wonderful surprise. I was just to send a strongly worded letter to the courier service about this. Many thanks. I... Not to pry. What are you going to do with all those butterflies? Would you like to see? Alarms, bells ring in my head. This is how you die, Lobby Universe. Sure. Why would you say yes? Why would I? I would, no, I would have said no. Okay. I sense a lot of Susie Burhouse slash Mortimer vibes going on. And since she does taxidermy butterflies and shit, I kind of figured that out. So I'm assuming this is kind of like her persona, maybe. Butterflies, moss, and beetles. That's exactly what she taxidermies too. Huh, huh. I wonder who this character is based off of. Ha, 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 Just saying. What happened to the music though? Oh wow, that's real something, Damien. I'm quite proud of my little collection. You do all of this by yourself? Hmm. Of course, I found it rather relaxing. How do you... It's simple. Here, let me show you. These aren't ready quite yet. They'll need to be rehydrated overnight, so they're easier to work with. I have some over here that are ready to pin. Damien takes a seat at his desk while I hover behind him. He puts up a little triangular paper package and snips off the edges. Pulls out an all-black butterfly and shows it to me. I'm rather excited about this one. It's a turquoise swallowtail. Gently opens the wings and spreads the butterfly out on the table. The backs of the wings are gorgeous in iridescent green color. 
Uh, and the pigment on this one is so nice too. Anyways, pinning a butterfly is actually very simple. It just requires a delicate touch. First, I'll put a pin through the thorax. Damien slids a pin through the middle of the butterfly and places it on the piece of styrofoam. Carefully arranges the antenna with forceps and begins placing paper and more pins on and around it. He does this so effortlessly that it's almost hypnotic. I don't want to fall for Damien! Wait, don't! I swear to God, if he's like the mis like misguided emo boy. No, I no, I was trying to go for fucking Matt. Don't make me go for Damien. No! I have a frame here that I think this could look quite pretty in it, but I'll need to let it sit for a couple of days till it's ready. And then what? Oh. <sighs> I remove all the pins and put it on display with the others. Take a closer at Damien's collection. One with bright blue wings keeps drawing my eye. This one's so pretty. Damien takes it off the wall. Ah, yes. That's a blue morpho. One of my favorites too. God damn it! That is actually- Okay. So, for those who are not aware of like- who, 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 what this game is made from and stuff. So a little quick thing. So there is a YouTube channel called Game Grumps. And it's a bunch of like- Mainly it's two guys playing video games and whatever, but they have like a fucking company now. And, um, one of the grump, one of the main grump's wife is named Susie. And as a side business, she actually does taxidermy. She hasn't been selling any lately. I think she kind of gave up on taxidermy, but she used to sell taxidermy like stuff. And it was specifically butterflies, moths, and beetles. Ha <laughs> ha Um, and there was specifically a blue morpho butterfly that I really wanted to buy but I never had the chance to and now there's no more butterflies in the store which I'm really kind of sad about so <clears throat> here I think this will look lovely in your home <gasps> are you giving it to me bro Sif? whoa uh, I insist believe me I've had more than enough <gasps> thank you oh no oh no oh no oh no if you ever have an interest in pinning some insects yourself you know where to find me <laughs> I think I'll leave that up to you I feel like I'd probably break them in half with my butterfingers. Nonsense, you have beautiful, steady hands. Ah, you would make a fine taxidermist. Am I blushing? Damien walks me to the door and gives me a warm smile as I leave. Do take care of yourself, Lavi. Thanks for allowing me to share my odd little hobby with you. Uh... You got bags. <laughs> Why? No, no, I was doing. Is there a heart on him too? No, good. Okay, that's fine. Mm. I finally decided to join. I'm kind of curious about this now. Uh, those long strokes to the graveyards and spending time with my son. If you like to chat about the latest Victorian fashion, the inevitable of our own demise, or black cats, please send me a letter. This sounds totally fucking Susie right now. On Friday night, you are most likely to listen to true crime programs while taxidermy, new, taxidermy my newest specimens. What would it be? A coffin? What are your turn downs pronouncing bosom correctly? Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up a bat? What's your favorite music genre? Or what's your favorite movie genre? Foreign art house horror. Ideal date? It's night. We're at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. Music drums to the beat of our hearts. What would you never leave home without? An upside down cross? <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about morality salads. <sighs> this is too much. Um, I don't know how I feel about all of this right now. Um, oh shit. Uh, sorry I'm like checking messages right now um <clears throat> yes so um Alright, <clears throat> um, well I want to go back to Matt, but now Damien's kind of like pricked by interest. Is there any more? Uh, 
wanna go. No, Damien's caught my interest now. I'm gonna message Rat. I'm gonna go message Rat. Cause he's a cutie patootie. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fuck messaging! I'm gonna go over there and get some coffee and talk to him in person. Let's go! Let's go! Amanda! Amanda, please! <laughs> Father! <laughs> Wanna go to the coffee spot? Oh, so you get called cool ones, and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at the coffee shops and listens to neo jazz and stuff. <laughs> Amanda! <laughs> Are you gonna bring your laptop and your leather bound journal so you can work on your poetry analog? Look, honey, don't. Do you want me to buy you coffee or not? Let me grab my laptop and my leather bound journal. <laughs> Bitch, I swear. Amanda and I make our short walk over to the coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. Just a few people hanging around and reading books in the cozy little nooks. Walk up to the counter and I see a familiar Pierce face. Wow, whoa! Oh! Here's a dude I yelled at and punched the other night. Uh, uh, Amanda, come on. Don't be me. He did try to sell me t-shirts, yes. And who would you might you be, miss? Aww. This is my daughter, Amanda. The person I am a father to and I am very protective of. In order to make your acquaintance, my name is Pablo. Did I mention that I make witch house music? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it witch house music, but okay. Uh, piercing blood of my ego, though not one that will dissuade my need to impress you. <gasps> uh, wait. Hold on. I am overwhelmed with bodily protective energy. I must do something to protect myself. Yo, no, no, no. Reappropriate lines from Taken. Um. I do not want to defend Witch House because then it defends him. And then reappropriate lines from Taken. Change the subject. Anyways, Pablo, I didn't know you worked here. Oh, yeah, man. Today's my first day. Matt's still training me. Loving! Hey, cutie! Hey. Matt comes out from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high five. This fellow cool people. But I thought he didn't like high fives. I would rather give you a hug. Let me love you. I see you met my newest employee at your service. Although I'm only here until Vacant Veal starts their war tour. Oh my god, give up. Well, we have to put on the record first. All right, Pablo. Now, what do we do with the customers again? Uh, right, yes. <coughs> Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? Uh, a smashing pumpkin spice latte, please. Uh, classic. And you? Mm. Uh, decaf for cute. Oh, uh, but I don't want Americano football. Uh, Father John. Ah, uh, Father John Miso. Uh, that might be the worst pun I've ever heard. Hey, it's pure comedy. Hey, puns are the highest form of comedy. Uh, I was making a joke off Father John Misty has an album called Pure Comedy and the drink is named after John <laughs> Misty, so I was like, yeah, never mind. Uh, coming right up. Pablo gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. You don't get the hang of it. For a goofy of a duty is the kid works hard. Hey man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Hell yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Anything to spend time with you. I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple hours. I was going to go rec record shopping. You going to come along? Woo! Hell yeah. Pablo brings us our drinks and Amanda buries herself for a laptop. Spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Yes, queen. As I chill here with my chai caffeinated beverage. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... He has trouble hanging out with other people, but for some reason he can talk and joke like old buds. It's weird. I feel really comfortable about him. Yay! Yay! It's Matt Tupi! Okay. Once Matt feels comfortable leaving Pablo on his own, I say goodbye to Amanda and we start walking to the record store. Have you ever been here before? <clears throat> no, I mean, we have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have is two copies of Frampton Comes Alive. Oh, this should be fun then. We're gonna find you some good stuff. I actually want a record player. I'm not gonna lie. I would love to eventually get a record player. If I can get myself a really, like, decent one, 
Um, I would love to start buying vinyl copies because I think that'd be sick and amazing. The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people mill around, flipping through milk crates of albums. Some indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why do you, why do people still buy records? Isn't it kind of outdated at this point? There's a lot of people who will try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent. But really, I think it's just nice to collect records. Oh. I agree! It's cool that in this day and age that we just have about every song ever created available instantaneously in our phones, but there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I always love. Right. Yes, queen! That's why I try to get as many of the records that I love in a physical form as possible. Remember when we were kids and we have to wait around by the radio with the cassette tape so we could record our favorite songs? Yeah! It made each listening really special, and mixtapes were even cooler because of how much it worked. Now you just make a playlist. I think the last time someone gave me a real mix tape was maybe in high school. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I look around the multi-level records for store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, Anar Anarcho-Punk, Non-Splotate, non non what the fuck? Yeah, I don't even know where. This is overwhelming. <coughs> Here, let me help you find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Ooh, purple! Purple! I want to be purple! <laughs> if you could buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? Daffodil, Mountain Spring, Camouflage, Summer Breeze, Spring Creek, Fireball, or Power Violence Cherry. I'll go with Cherry Blossom. I enjoy Cherry Blossom. Alright. What's your favorite ambient sound? Oh, oh, rain, 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 rain. What's your dream vacation spot? Set an active volcano, living off the fat of the land in Ibiz, <laughs> starting a new life in the Baltics. Uh, I don't even know what the Baltics are. Living off the fat of the land of Ibiza. So I, I, the only thing that I know about Ibiza is, is that song. I took a pill in Ibiza. A da 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 da. Oh, that kind of went to the tone of the music. Da 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 da. Uh, starting a new life in the Baltics. I want to pick them, but I don't know what the fuck they are. Wait a second. Hey Google, what is the Baltics? What is the Baltics? Okay Google, what is the Baltics? Here is some information about Baltic states. Baltic states, also known as the Baltic countries and Baltic republics. Baltic nations are simply the Baltics. Geographical term used for grouping the three sovereign states in Northern Europe and the eastern coast of Baltic Sea. Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Oh, so it's in Europe. Okay. I mean, that doesn't sound too horrible. Now that I know where Baltic... This is new information for me now. Uh, well, I've always liked to visit Europe, so I don't understand why. Sure, Baltics. What's your deepest, darkest fear? Oh, no, don't worry. No, oh, uh, honestly, my, <clears throat> it's not an option here. My biggest fear is honestly, uh, is being alone. That freaks me out so much. And death, like literally if I start thinking about dying, because I don't know what happens next, that starts, okay. Yeah, okay, you get to the, <clears throat> what's the options here? I worry that people are nice to me only because they want something from me. I fear that I don't deserve happiness and won't ever get it. What if nobody exists but me and I fabricated this universe? Saying you too when the waiter tells you to enjoy Okay, so it's a tie between these two. We worry that people are nice to me only because they want something from me. And I fear that I don't deserve happiness. Okay, this one's kind of too real. That, that, that's not accurate. <clears throat> I know, just the thing. Okay. Shows it to me. This is how to be a human being by glass animals. I feel like this is now a real recommendation and I'm gonna I'm gonna save it now. Is this an album? I'm assuming? Yes. 
I was just gonna take a picture of this real quick because <coughs> like I know glass animals but I just want to make sure that I remember this album now take the picture thank you for taking that picture all right now I probably will listen to this album later we're not gonna lie <laughs> My first album is fire, but they kind of tried out something different stuff on this one, and I can respect it, and it's really good. I think you'll like it a lot. Whoa, dude. Thanks for the recommendation. Oh. You're gonna have a great time with it. I promise. Man and I bring out our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum, septum ring and a buzz kit stands behind the counter with one earbud in. Usual stuff today, Matt? Hey. Just some light pickups. Matt places three albums on the counter, and I swear to God, uh, swear on God at this by Diet Sig, forever by Miss <gasps> Mystery Skulls, Mystery Skulls. I fucking love Mystery Skulls. Our greatest hits by Remo Drive. Okay, so these are all actual music now. So now I'm gonna actually <laughs> start taking notes because, uh, so I love uh any music. I really do. Um, and then anything that kind of like bleeds into indie. So rock and uh some like house music and stuff like that <clears throat> right, tight tight i love mystery skulls i actually have uh um uh, in my mind uh the song in my mind stuck on replay for the past couple of days mm. sorry it's not my mind <clears throat> feel like i'm losing my mind da -da 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 all the time baby so it's losing my losing my mind by mystery skulls <coughs> all right cashier rings matt up and hands back his albums in the bag she stares at me suspiciously who's the ah! 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 the beacon of human charm is molly fuck you molly i got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique lovely to meet you anyway matt is the open mic still on still tonight still a mic night still on oh you know it is. Are the third waves gonna do a special acoustic performance? I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. There's an open mic tonight? <laughs> yeah, dude, we do it every month at the coffee spoon. Some amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. You and the man should come by tonight. Oh, man. Uh, Matt blushes. I mean, if you're not doing anything. <gasps> uh, will Vacant Field be playing? Hey. Uh, if only. I finished paying for my record. We head out at the store. Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been in a record shop like that since Vance had shag carpeting. Hmm. Now that you mentioned it, isn't it strange to think of all those little weird musical memories? <clears throat> what do you mean? Well, I think music is a very time and place sort of thing. Uh, song is important to me. Not only in that, it, I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. Okay. There's music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor that I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. All that stuff. And listening to the songs reminds me of those moments in my life. Yo, I'm the same. I literally have a playlist that's dedicated to all like my high school memories uh, on my Spotify uh, thing. Oh God. Now that I think about it, even the pop concert reminded me of me take her too special to me. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the band, but hearing their songs on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. And then that even reminds me of a younger me going to see my favorite bands in concert with all my friends. <clears throat> we would always go with my friend Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Uh, wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? Matt stops to think for a moment. It's been decades. Dude, me too. Where do you even get pot now? Is that even what the kids call it these days? I don't know. But I bet I could find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Yeah, why not? Say no to drugs. I really want to say no. I really want to say no, but I want to impress him. Yeah, why not? Pulls out his phone and starts texting. After a few minutes, he looks up and smiles at me. Ah, Molly's got a hookup. Says to meet her in the alley near the coffee shop. Oh my fucking lord. Okay, if it turns out it's the feds, you make a break for it. And I'll, <laughs> I'll take the heat. Just promise me that you'll raise Amanda like she was your own. You realize that witch has been legalized in the state, right? I definitely knew that. 
But we live in dangerous times. Who knows where it looks in the seedy underbelly of Maple Bay. We could find ourselves on the wrong end of a deal gone bad. Just look out for Amanda. <laughs> My baby girl. I swear. Oh, here's that guy. Uh, coming around the corner. One of these nasty grease stumps. Shot in your darkness. A lean figure dressed in black. Um, excuse me, Mr. Drug Man. You! 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 Suddenly the person almost jumps out of their skin. It's Lucian <laughs> Damien's son? Oh, sweet Jesus. Who sent you? We're cool, man. We're cool. Says who? For all I know, you could be with the feds. Actually, we can just leave. prove you're cool. How about... I, I need to know what you're down or a bolt. Show him you're not wearing a wire. Impress him with your extensive knowledge of current drug lingo. Sight mutually assured. What? None of none of these is. Uh, I guess I can try to show him when I have a wire. Are you doing that because I'm taking off my shirt? I've seen this in cop films before. I lift up my shirt to prove I'm not wearing a wire. Oh Jesus! Put that away, please. Oh, that. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> yes, I took up my shirt. Oh, God. Look, I get it. A buzz cut Molly said you were coming. Right. Now that formalities are out of the way, let's make a deal. Huh, sigh. All right. How much do you want? One. One what? Yeah. He means weed, Lucien. Yeah, but how much? One. Oh my god, look, here, take this and give me $10. Just don't tell my dad. Let's all forget this ever happened. I won't tell your dad if you don't. <sighs> he has me a baggie of something that disappears out of the alleyway. I'll open it and take a deep wave. Smells like genuine drugs. Yes, sirree. <laughs> that went smoothly. Yeah, we should get out of the public property before we smoke this. Great idea. Let's head back to my place. Oh, oh yo, oh, your place. Okay. Matt and I walk back or walk to the cul de sac and stop at a gas station on the way to buy rolling papers and soda. I feel like I'm 16 again. Mm. I've never smoked weed, so I don't understand this experience. Carmesita's having a sleepover tonight, so that gives us all the time we need to do drugs. Oh my Jesus. Also, let's do some drugs. <laughs> Matt pulls one of the records out of his bags and puts it in front of us. I plop down on a comfy leather couch and look around his place. There's a bunch of band posters, and his record collection takes up the entire wall. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye. Mystery guest. <laughs> Whoa. What a collection. Been collecting my whole life. It was nice to finally get them along in one place after being on the road for so much of my life. Had to ask my parents to hold on to them for me. Hold on for them for me. Oh, blah, blah. Matt sits down next to me and we lay the marijuana drugs on the coffee table. Let's do the drugs. Do you want to do the honors? Please, it's your house. If you say so. <laughs> this is like, fuck it. Starts rolling it back and forth. The paper breaks almost immediately. Spilling drugs all over the couch. Never was too good at this. Hey. Tries again and is able to successfully roll a nice looking weed cigarette. He hands me the lighter and the blood, I think, and I take it. Well, let's rip that golf fairway, open up the nug, smoke some of that gateway drug. Uh, none of these, none of these, none of these will I say ever. Uh, Open, open up the nug, I guess. Open up the nug. Is that a word? Oh, I'm sorry, no way, can I go back? I want to impress, no way. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. I'll take what I can. This is not what I remembered. It's been a while though, maybe pot drugs have just gotten more potent since the last time I smoked. Pass the joint to me, I cough a little bit. Should it stink this much or am I just a baby? Takes a hint and decides to go on. That's not weed. Oh god. Do you develop a taste for meth? No, no, it's. Yeah, this is oregano. 
Oh my god! No! Oh well, we can still relax and enjoy the music's over. You know what? You're right. We said listen to the Diet Sig album that Matt bought, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room again and see photos of Carmesita growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile in one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Oh, it's Rosa. Carmesita's mother. She died when Carmesita was young. <gasps> I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how hard that must have been. I look around again, spotting a framed gig poster hanging by the wall in it. On it, there's an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive letter reads, Stillness in the Dancing. Looks like they played the sound of garden over a decade ago. Were you two in a band together? Yeah. That was the reason I was turning so much when I was younger. We traveled the whole country in this rinky dink little van. Oh! It's a hard start, but once we started gaining the tour, no notary and seeing how much our songs went to kids, it was just incredible. Aww. That seems like a life some people would only dream of. It was, and it was difficult at the same time. I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Baby boy! Uh. <laughs> Rosa and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. So once she became pregnant with Carmencita, we put down our roots in our favorite town to play in right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa always had a dream to own a quiet little coffee shop. She, uh, she died before it opened. I'm gonna cry! I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Matt gets up to flip the record. Next to the turntable, I notice a dusty piano. Do you play? I don't know if I should. Aw, please play for me. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Mm. I found out the hottest seven piece ska band that Eagle Rock Bay High had to offer. Hey, yeah. uh, no way, you had a ska face? Face? Ska never dies. Except for a scumminess manifesto who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Dude, that's so rad. Matt pulls out the piano bench. Give me some of that two-tone love. Oh, no! You're gonna make me play! No, no, no! Go with the classic st st stick with your scarus. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Okay. If I am into the ska... And he's an appreciator of music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick with this. I, I think I'm doing, I'm gonna play ska. Hey. Wait, was that just smoke on the water? Man, I forgot how to play. Hmm. The deep purple is always appreciated nonetheless. All right, buddy, can you stop that? I, uh, I shouldn't. Oh, come on. Hey. No, it's been a long time. I'm gonna drop it, cause he doesn't seem comfortable, okay. Okay buddy, sorry to put pressure on you. I mean, it's not a problem. It was good to watch back in touch with the music that flows through you. I learned to play that song when I was 15. Matt and I sit and listen to more records until it gets late and I decided that I need to get a bed. Matt walks me to my door. Let's never tell anyone with the oregano, okay? <laughs> Deal. Wait, can I call my doctor? I don't know if anything about the health effects of smoking oregano, and I don't think we'll be fine. Night, dude. Night. Aww. I feel like this could have gone so much better. Amanda. Oh, she's editing photos. Hi, Amanda. Hmm. What smells like pizza parlor here? What? Nothing. So, uh, what's up? Dad, I'm hungry. Wait, no. Hi, hungry. <laughs> I'm dad. Yes, that's exactly what I would do. I promised myself I never let it come to this. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo, you set yourself up. I spiked it down. You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. Amanda and I boil some pasta and heat up the sauce in a pan. Well, I boil the pasta and heat up the sauce while Amanda watches. Despite my best part, my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. How was record collecting? It was great. 
Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? No way, was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight and it was amazing. He played piano for you? Dude. Yeah, I brought it up that he should play at the open bike nights and that's happening in his coffee shop. But he kind of got weird about it. Hey, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band and play a couple of twos there. Yeah, let me break out my glockenspiel. <laughs> oh my god. I think I only know hot crust buns, but we can work off the, chords, the chord progression. Man and I have a nice dinner before we, she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. They start staging an uh, intervention for the house hunter who is crying uncontrollably over the color of the walls. You know they can paint the walls of their house any color they want, right? Matt's song is stuck in my head all night. Ah! Oh, how romantic! I don't think I did very well. Yeah. I did alright. It could have been better. It could have been better. I want to keep going. I made one bad joke. A few bites of ice cream from the freezer. I turn off all the lights and walk down to the hall of my room. I wonder if my man is still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear a faint sound. But I can't quite make it out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? Hey, Amanda. Not right now. <laughs> Why are you crying? You have no, no. I'm not gonna let this go. No, nothing happened. Go away. No, something must have happened. Amanda, get out. Okay, okay. <laughs> No, come on. I don't want her to be mad at me. I want her to be open to be. If she wasn't before, she is, definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she stopped on me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. Amanda! After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'd be willing to talk about whatever's mm. bothering her. About, about 10 minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of the room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle to the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Aw. Anything big going on at school today? <sighs> no. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? Want some coffee? Pulls the toaster and takes your still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. What the fuck? This ocean is short lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully, this blows over and things are back to normal soon. No. No. I want to know what's wrong with her now. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knee, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. And then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and I wanted to keep trying. I put the bike away. She just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream and it was like nothing ever happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided that if I forced her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. Oh, am I going to make a super awesome dinner? I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline for her room. She's clearly, clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. Can you come here for a second? Come on. Come here. I want to say I'm sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... So, just whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Oh, yes, no. baby girl. 
punny. You know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. Oh, I made a cake! I made a cake! Pull a cake out of the fridge, place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. Ta-da! Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is beautiful. It's strawberry! Got some plates and forks and serve us up some delicious cakes. Oh my god, baby girl! <clears throat> so it's really stupid. Oh no, she's gonna tell me. She's gonna tell me, baby girl, give me the tea! Give me the tea! All right, what's the tea? This whole thing, I know I've been really weird lately and there's just, I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. <laughs> I'm listening. Do you want me to take, I would take notes. Yeah. I should start from the top. So you know how Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R, okay. Uh, Emma R, the one who puked on dead goth and beyond? No, that was her. The best friend won. The other one. The other yeah. one? I guess you're not technically wrong. It's good to have fallbacks like that one. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then when I found out from Rosie M that both of the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at Mackenzie F's on the same night, they all told me they were busy studying for the Calc AB final. Ooh. So another important piece of information is, uh, God, this is embarrassing. I, um, have a crush on Noah and, uh, that's a thing. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I had no idea. <laughs> I definitely didn't know that. My baby girl's got, <laughs> you're a bad liar. So are you. <laughs> I learned from the worst. Oh no. Anyway, so the only person I told the crush was Emma R. And she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama. So I kept quiet and kept going about my business. And then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall. And after not texting me back for like two hours, even though, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all said they were busy, like simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just all nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips and I really, really wanted nachos. Uh-huh. So I go to the mall anyway, get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah all hanging out together eating nachos without me. <gasps> it gets better. Oh no, baby girl. Standing by the escalators watching them and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. <gasps> oh, so I storm over there. I'm like, hey. And Grace drops a notch on her shirt because of course she does. And Emma R just like glares at me. Grace, Grace, Grace. Nothing's coming up. I don't know who that is. That's fine. Grace is the... Did she poop the bed too? <laughs> no, dad. Please stick with me. Grace is the one nobody really likes. Or I guess that's me now. But anyway, nobody will say anything. And I'm just like, you guys suck. Which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and embarrassed and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left without nachos, might I add, with only further contributing to the shitty day. And I immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to Emma R asking how long the Noah thing's been going on and sorry, I know that's a lot. You still following? No, 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 no. What did Emma R uh, no 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 I what did Emma R say? Oh okay. I'm gonna load this. Emma R says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. <gasps> no! Oh no. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. <laughs> I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well being, but man, I did not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I'm trying my hardest yeah. to be supportive. They were dating in secret for like months. So I told her that she's been a really terrible friend. And she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on read. And then what? Left me on read? What's that? Oh, like, she saw my messages and didn't reply. And I know because there are read receipts. Okay, I know what that is. I'm not that. Okay, gotcha. So while all this is happening, I'm talking to Emma P. 
about how mad I am because she's at least being kind of reasonable and I'm venting to her about how pissed off I am and everybody and stuff. And then out of nowhere, no one texts me and like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? Tells me that MFP sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. What? Alright, I think you lost me at the screenshots, but it definitely sounds bad. Aww. There's so much more, but honestly, all of this is really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me. Half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Amanda. I am sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but... Emma Arson's been there since Dad died. I can't believe she was just standing in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just, ex I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Aww. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. I feel you on that. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why was I enough? I don't understand. And as... And as bad as I am, everybody like, I miss them, Dad. Aww. Oh. Aww. Baby girl. I know it's dumb. It's not dumb. It's not dumb. It's not stupid. No, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time? Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long, long time ago. This is true. I would have probably done the same. Maybe a rocket ship for me. But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dun dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm reading a lot. I didn't realize it was going to be so much text. But this is getting real and deep. And I don't know how I feel about all of this. Okay, not all friendships last forever. High school sucks. High school does suck. Real friends don't do that. High school sucks. I really want to say high school sucks. Not all friendships last forever. No, 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 no. Because then that means, like, that sets up the notion of, like, not all friends can last forever. Which is wrong. Which is wrong to say. High school will suck. High school is always going to suck. Uh, uh, sorry, I got distracted by a text. Uh, high school sucks. Honey, high school sucks. You make friends with people just because they're there. When you're still living in your hometown, there's a pretty small pool of people to choose from. But once you go to college and once you get out into the real world, you're going to be exposed to all sorts of people and it's going to be easier to make friends with people who really get you. Yes, queen, it's true. Some of those friendships can last a lifetime. I mean, look at me and Craig. And some of them will only last a little while and that's okay too. You're going to make so many awesome new friends at art school. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours because you're amazing. If they can't see that, well, that's their problem. Yeah, look at me. I'm such a great wisdom dad. Did we just eat the whole cake? <laughs> yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. All right, Amanda gets up from her uh, to her room, and before she closes the door, she turns around. Hey, Pops. Yeah. Thank you. You are always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> Why would you make her say that? Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I got. Oh, no, I'm actually getting teary eyed, yo. I've got dads. Oh, no, Craig, go away. Craig, go away. I can't deal with your shit. Okay, wait, Matt. Do I have a heart? Do I have two hearts on you? Okay. 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 Um,. So it's that time, because I, uh, <coughs> I don't want to open him because it might be something, and I don't want to, can I message? No, that's message. Ah, uh, 
I just want to see Matt again. That's all I want to do. Damien's like a maybe. I don't actually. Do I actually have no. I don't have any hearts. That's right. No on Craig. I don't know why I'm looking at him. It was just out of habit. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to read the messages on this one. When the internet gains senten uh, sentience and decides to join us all, you know, I'll use this information against us, right? Friday night, you're most likely to make a deal in an alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it Giacomo? I trusted Giacomo. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be a gun? What are your turn ons? Don't talk to me. What do you want to be when you grow up? A grifter? I don't know what that means. What's your favorite movie genre? Italian? Neorealism. What's your ideal date? Grave robbing. What would, would you never leave home without? At least four knives. Spent a lot of time thinking about you ever really look into a rabid animal's eyes? That's so creepy. <sighs> okay, I want to see what's going on with Craig. Hey, dude. I've got the runs. Okay. Oh, I've just got... Thing. I'll head to the store and grab me a real chunky milkshake, cherry licorice, and a book of four jumbles that I find helpful in the strenuous of the. <laughs> what? What does that make it worse? Oh, it's not for the diarrhea. No, she's just comforting. Wait, why are we talking about this? But I got the runs. I feel like I. I feel like running. When it comes to the gym, I really don't. I really don't. Why do I feel less excited about that? Getting new home remedies for diarrhea. You know what? No, I don't want to go. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. What are we doing this? I'm sorry about myself. And this is me. I don't want to go to the gym. I want to go see Matt again. You know what they say about third dates? They get pretty serious. You know, I have time to browse dad book for a while. Are you ready? Oh, wait. No, wait. Wait, 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 a second because this will have to be a whole entire stream okay let's go talk to Craig finish with Craig and then that's probably gonna be it I have about sorry now I'm warming up okay okay at least let me see if Betty gets away from the wolves in time to get her super sour wrap cheesecake out of the oven why <coughs> why dad tips why you keep your word oh no Oh, uh, the gym just installed these new virtual jogging treadmills. We feel like we're running outdoors. You can see other runners, other runners on your screen too. Let's try and do this together. Other runners? Will I be able to keep up? Don't worry, we're here to cheer each other on. I'll be right there with you. Just get them going. Keep your heart rate up. But don't overexert yourself. You'll do great. Run that day. Is this how you run? Is this how you run? Is this how you do it? You just click, 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 click. Is this how you do it? Seriously? This is, I, I guess you just click until you're in certain BPs, BPMs. Don't overexert. Da, 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 da. Can I click with my mouse as well? I'm kinda curious. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. I think I prefer this one. And this is so interesting. Can you imagine if running was just me just clicking on the finger and that's it. That's all running is ever gonna get you. Healthy as a bug. You could do this all day. Okay. So Megan, Aaron, Layton, Lobby, Craig, Stella, Tyler, Eric. Don't know don't know any of these people. I just click, 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 click. Okay. Kind of know what I'm doing, kinda. I don't know how long I'm supposed to do this for, but. This is interesting. 
I like how this is very like Wii style too. Like this is very like the the little Wii Weverse, Wii Universe. I don't know Wii, but it reminds me of the little Wii characters. Go 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 go, puppy, go. Okay. I don't know how far. I'm not that far off. I guess there's a dude right there, but I don't know, I'm gonna use my mouse because I can click a little bit faster with this one. Yes, 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 queen. Okay. I'm still. Wait, how long am I supposed to go for? Like, seriously. Aaron Hansen. Like, the Aaron. The Aaron. Okay, that one, if I'm gonna click fast, I wanna use my ma my, my keyboard for that. Oh, ho, ho. No, fuck off, dude. But I wanna see Aaron, though. Where's Aaron? Finished. Okay, that's not too bad. S plus plus! S plus plus! I'm super duper! Way to go! Thanks, dude! You've got I've got daddios! How come Craig's the only one that's like pictured like that though? Like seriously. Oh, well he was. Tiny boar. I'm kinda curious to read the rest of this. Voted Maple Bay's number one Wii youth minister for five years running. Living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and four amazing kids. Your wife looked like she has issues, I'm just gonna say. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out in the open water, sitting still on these seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing all my kids in Candyland. And crushing my kids in Canada. Oh, such supportive father. Friday night, you're most likely to leave the community, leave the leave the community in a fun mixer. If you had one thing to take with you on the desert island, what would it be? My sing strip. What are your turn ons? You're my loving wife. Are you sure she's not loving though? <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? A ship captain. What's your favorite movie genre? Feel good movies. Ideal date night. Lovely night in the town with my wife. To never leave home without a good book. The good book, not a good book, the good book. Spent a lot of time thinking about how I could be a better man, husband, and father. That's awfully like, you're a little too dedicated. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I guess I'm just gonna leave it here. Because <clears throat> this, this message, this message, that, that, this, you might not have time to browse dad book for a while. Are you ready? This makes me think that this might be a journey. So I'm going to save. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go to the title. Let's go. Uh, oh. Hunka, 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 man. I might go for Damien next. I'm not gonna lie. But Matt's my priority right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, that was weird and interesting in all kinds of, I really wanna know what happens if I go on that third date. I really am fucking curious. <laughs> but it's also 7.30 and I have a new job that requires me to go to bed around 9.30 and I would like to relax. Oh my God. I'm really debating whether or not I should do this or not. Okay. I'm gonna end this. The, the date's kinda... We're gonna go on that date tomorrow night. I swear to God. So tomorrow at 5.30 we're gonna come back. We're gonna do this. <laughs> we're gonna do this, okay? Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the uh, next one. Okay. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, friendos. Let me play on some music. Some exiting tunes. Alright. That's it for the stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.